What's up, everybody? My name is Jonathan, aka Klein Guy John. Welcome to my channel, and today is time for a tool unboxing. And I'm really excited. It just came in today, and uh, man, it's like Christmas. I love Christmas. That's like my favorite holiday. Today, August 15th. Are we on the 15th? 16th? I keep losing track of the days. Anyway, I'm so excited I forgot what day it is. I'm going to show you what I got in the mail from Happy Tools. If you already know already, then stick around because you want to watch, watch this tool unboxing. And it's coming right up. <laughs> I'm excited, excited as ever, I finally got it in, might as well show you, oh yeah, oh yeah, you know I'm excited, the Milwaukee Pacquiao Dolly is in, just got it in the mail, ran to the front door, saw my camera, didn't even see the guy drop it off, just left it at my front door, and I tell you, Oh man, time for a good unboxing. But before we do that, so what we have is Milwaukee Packout Dolly, model number 48-22-80-8410. The dolly. Now the rated the rated pounds on it, as it says here, 250 pounds for what it's rated. It's got a quick stop loading lever and smooth rolling wheels. It is the most versatile, durable modular storage system. Let's see, let's see what's, let's check out the specs in the back. Let's check it out. Let's see if we're not missing anything here. So, it says 250 pounds weight capacity, it's that locking casters, quick stop loading lever, Modular connectivity with all packout components, impact resistant polymer construction, and smooth roll wheels. That, oh man, I just want to dig in already with my teeth, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's get it open up. The, the package came a little beat up. I just noticed that. So excited, I couldn't contain my excitement. And I just noticed that some of the packaging is all a little miscombobulated. Well, let's open her up and see what she's got. Let's open it up. Let's open it up. So we're going to open it up here. Get remove that tape. Whoa. First thing we have here are the instructions. Pretty straightforward. See, I'm still excited. So we have to put the dolly together. The wheels together. Huh. Very interesting. So you know, I, I always save the instruction manual. Instruction guide. Always. I'm gonna use these instructions. What we got here. Here's a stopper. A lock and lever. To my understanding, a few people thought that the pack out rolling to a uh, dolly was gonna come in one piece. So that's that's not a that's a no no. So we're gonna take some of the pieces here. We're actually gonna just leave them right there. We got the rolling the rolling wheels, the caster wheels. So these are the caster wheels. We're gonna roll. We're gonna open this up in a second. Take it out of the box. Look, you even got your brochure. Look at that modular storage systems. You even got a little poster here. Oh, they sent me a poster. Check this out. A little mini poster. Out. We're gonna hang it up. We're gonna save this. We're gonna hang it up somewhere. It's somewhere in the room. We're gonna hang it up. Maybe in the background here. You guys can see. Like a little wallpaper. Alright, so we're gonna take it out. Look at that. We're gonna remove the box. So here it is. 
Look at that. Very nice. Very tough. Feels pretty tough. Tough plastic. Very tough. Look. Wow. It's like it's like plywood almost. <laughs> the locking, you gotta see the label goes up front when you start to put the wheels and the locking mechanism. So judging by the instruction doesn't necessarily tell you how, just pictorial pictures. So you kind of have to look at the pictures and make sure you get every part in right. And it also says, not only you have to look at it visually, okay, you also got to listen to the clicking. There's some, I guess there's some clicking noise involved representing that it's, it's, it's clicked in. Let's get started. I guess we'll, we'll start with the wheels first and then I guess the, the lock, the uh, lever. Oh. Got it sitting up. We're gonna get the here are the wheels, the caster wheels. So we're gonna open that up right now. Not bad. Do it this way. So here are the wheels. Now, from the instructions, it says the locking mechanisms go in the front of where the Milwaukee label here is facing so you have to put the wheels in this direction with the locking casters on them. let's see what else it's got a spring here like a retention spring i believe that's for the the locking lever if i'm not mistaken so i'm just reading these instructions carefully you don't want to screw anything up i don't want to ruin it supposedly the spring is for the lock and lever so all we have, all I have to do, is push down until it snaps in. There's nothing for it to hold on to. I don't know. That that doesn't seem secure to me. Like what if it's supposed to snap in? Maybe I got it in the wrong direction. Let's let's let's, let's find out. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's snapping in. Oh, there we go. I give it a, a, a good push, a really good push to get them to snap in. So that's what it meant in the instructions. Not only you have to visually see what you're doing, you also got to listen. So, I'll push this one down. Oh, man, that is tough. That's a tough cookie there. Oh, don't want to hurt myself doing this. There you go. Snap in. Hey, they don't come out. Now, there you go. Wow. So you got to really put some force. Uh, as you can see, there's like these grooves, and it's got to snap in externally. So this, these grooves have to pop right out. This head here has to pop out and lock in with the plastic. So you have to be quite... Well, maybe it's because I have it upside down. I'm hitting the, the surface of the table. So let's see. But pop it in. Nope. Same thing. You really got to push it down to get it through. There you go. Snapped in. All right. All right, we've got the wheels in. The wheels are pretty smooth. Just like they said at the NPS, uh, NPS 7, uh, 19. And if you don't know what the N, what NPS 19 is, check out VCG Construction channel, Tool Review Zone, Top Tool, and also Tools in Action. They were, they were all there at Milwaukee's... Um, New product symposium 2019, and this is, was one of their products that was that they had at the symposium. It was pretty cool. So they got ball bearings, all four. So pretty smooth. This thing came with a spring. So we're gonna get this uh, this spring in here somewhere. It'll come with locking pins. So this is the locking lever. So it came with locking pins, and it goes like this, as you can see in the pictures, it's 
upside down, so you have to lock this in uh, somehow. So this part goes in the center. Oh, what do you know? Right here. It's like a little cross, piece of plastic crossing, uh, a plastic uh, raised cross there that holds the spring. And then they have these little grooves inside uh, for the locking pins right here, these locking pins. I'll probably zoom in a little closer so you guys could uh, see. Well, you have locking pins right here. Just got to pull this out. Pull that pin out. Leave it there. Not going to be a place, nifty place to put it. I'll take the other pins out. If you're not quite sure, if you just get, you know, if you tend to lose the instructions for some odd reason, you can always, I believe you can go online, or if you have the one key, um, if you have the one key app, you could register this product and it'll download an instruction guide onto the app. This little, you see this little indenture here, this groove here? I don't know if you guys could, uh, oh, sorry. So, this little space here is for the spring. So I place the spring here where it shows me where to place the spring. Uh, we're going to place gently, I'm going to place the, uh, gently place it here. Um, and then, now that it's lined, it's going to be lined up now. The hole on the pin goes to the side here. So what I'm going to do, at least try to do, um, hmm. Oh, right here. There's a groove. There's another hole here that you can just go straight in. So you have to kind of push it down a little bit. Pass it through. There's one. And we're going to get the other one. Um, where is the other one? We're going to put the other one in now on the other side. Same way. Be very careful with it. This guy made, there we go. So now it's holding it in place. We just got to spin it around a little bit, so face the, the pinhole. So here are the locking pins. Just going to slide it through. There's one. There's two. Could put it all the way, but that's how it normally should sit. And, uh... Wow. Well, we can't sit it over here, so let's try sitting it on the ground. There you go. Look at that. Spins around and all. There you go. So you can spin it around. It's nice, nice and smooth. Wasn't too bad at installing the pieces. So let's see the the stop the lever, stopping lever, let's see how it does. So basically it doesn't move anywhere as you clamp it in. So Let's try out one of the pack outs that I have. Alright, so I brought my pack out, uh, my other pack out boxes. So I'm going to load her up right now. So let's just turn this baby over. Okay, I'm going to start with the large pack out and just work my way up. Here. Oh, that was a little slippage there. so you guys can see it. I'm probably going to forget to hit this locking pedal once in a while when I start loading up, so i got to be very mindful. And if you're that type of person that's forgetful at the, like, the littlest things, be, try to be very mindful of this little stop, this, break, uh, this breaking lever. Touch this there. That was weird. To my organizer. I'm able to load up the other packouts. Look at 
that. That is smooth. That is awesome. Real smooth. Let's get this table out so you guys can see. Look at that. Eh, it's a little bump bumpy because my floor is tile, so. But it's pretty smooth for my liking. I mean, I, I like it. It's going to be easier to transport my pack out, my tools, anything that I can latch on top of it. You know, it could be like a little small shop back on top. You know? Pretty cool. Also, if you guys want to see more about some of these pack outs that I purchased, uh, or any of my, like, my pack out tours, you can click on the link at the right hand corner of the screen. This dolly is awesome. Like I said before, I wouldn't recommend using this on concrete. I, I mean, if you got a, another dolly and you want to soup it up, maybe you got a dolly, a beat up dolly, and you use your the type that's very uh, ingenuitive, and you use the pack aid uh, to install on your on your regular wooden dolly, so it's all beat up and the wheels are still good. Um, yeah, go ahead and do so. But I would normally, for me, I would use this in a building, commercial building. Um, you know, a commercial job site where the, the, you know, the ground is much smoother or maybe, they, it, you know, like a, a mall shopping center, that's what it would be most used for. Uh, commercial buildings that's occupied, you want to roll things around, or, you know, a commercial building that's just being renovated, but, you know, the carpet and everything is still in place. Uh, anything that's existing that's still smooth, you want to use this on a job site. Uh, try not to use it on gravel. I don't think these wheels, uh, the... I mean, they feel pretty tough, but I I would just feel safer just using it on like like a, a smooth surface like this or much smoother. Uh, wouldn't use it on concrete uh, unless I really have to. Other than that, man, it's a sweet dolly. Woo! Look at that, I can spin it around. Tell me what you think about the pack out dolly. Do you think it'll be worth it? Do you think it's worth the price? Let me know. I'll leave. The description of the websites with multiple pricings on the in the uh, description co uh, column down below. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. As always, wear your personal protective equipment. Watch each other's back. Help one another out. And I'll see you guys all on the next one. Later, everybody. You like that video? Why don't you smash that like button down below? Also, if you got any questions, leave a comment down below. If you want to see some tool reviews, tool demonstrations, or even some job site tag alongs, what are you waiting for? Subscribe! Till next time, guys. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you on the next one.